Hey there guys, we're going to be going back to uh, Hellflare of the Dark Dragon King. This is the final version of Dark Bamet on Dark Visions number 4. Uh, people are having problems, um, a few people are having problems with beating the boss by turn 12. Um, so my previous two guides, kind of, the first one was for people that can do it really quickly. It was like a 4 turn clear. My other one was a much slower clear guide that kind of expected you to win by turn 12. If you can't even win by turn 12, this is going to be the super ultimate cheap way to do it, um, no matter how long it takes. Th this team can go literally forever, and it'll never um, it'll never lose if you just do it, do it this way. Uh, but it's kind of using some specific stuff. Uh, but So we're going to be doing the final version of Hellflare of the Dark Dragon King, but uh, all the stuff I'm doing applies to the first version as well. So if you, ha you still haven't, haven't even beaten the first fight, you can use this exact same strategy. It'll work there. The only difference between these two fights is the second one is uh, higher stats. Okay, so this is going to be the team. We're going to be using Kadaj. Kadaj is a free unit he was giving um, for free. Uh, he's chosen because he can chain Absolute Mirror of Equity. We gave him a holy weapon, uh, so we don't have to worry about imbues. Uh, this is a holy sword from a treasure chest exploration. I forget which one. You can look on the wiki. Uh, but if, you, if you've got a better holy weapon, by all means, give it to him. Uh, but he wants to have some dragon killer. Uh, he needs to be paralyzed immune and blind immune. Uh, he's getting paralyzed immunity from Odin, and he's getting blind immunity from Zade's mask. But you can use you know anything you want to give him that. He also needs 40% or better to fire, lightning, wind, and dark. That's going to be a recurring theme for the entire team. Everyone needs to be 40% or better to fire, lightning, wind, and dark. All four of those elements. Alright. Aurora Freya is going to be chaining with him. She's the only real rainbow we're using in this team. But um, she's a really old unit. I figured it should be okay to use. Uh, again, she's got paralyzed and blind immunity. And we gave her 40% or better to fire, lightning, wind, and dark. Uh, we gave her some Dragon Killer and the empty slots. Now, notice I'm using a one-handed weapon. You know, this is lower DPS, but this is a holy weapon, so we don't have to worry about her imbue. We're going to get to spell it a lot, and Freyavia's imbue is not an absolute mirror of equity chain, and re-imbuing her after a dispel would interrupt our chaining. So I just gave her a holy weapon. She is honestly here almost exclusively just to chain with Kadaj. She is not here for her DPS, but she's going to contribute, you know, a bit. Kadaj is really going to carry this fight. And that's it. 40% uh, Fire, Lightning, Wind, and Dark. Uh, Vesvia, also 40% Fire, Lightning, Wind, and Dark. We also need to have her Paralyze Immune. Um, now she's chosen because she can hide. Ah, she can hide. Um, I want to be a Nutkin. Uh, this is a one-turn hide. Unfortunately for this strategy, you cannot use the Concealing Cloth because it's a three to five turn random hide. We need a one-turn only hide. Now, Vesvia is the easiest option because she's a permanent 4-star unit. Other options are 4-star Zahn, also has a 1-turn hide. 7-star um, Zahn has it. 7-star Assassin's Shadow. Uh, and then some old 3-star units have it, like Choo Choo, Sedona. Some other, some other units do as well. Frank Pritchard from Xenogears. Uh, but you just need a 1-turn hide. If you don't have any of them... Use Vesvia, or if you if you do have one of them, like Mastermind Zon specifically, uh, use that. And the rest of her gear is pretty irrelevant. Um, oh, we gave her a Bio Blaster so she can uh, use a Dark Attack. This is a, a a recipe. You can also give her a Dark Weapon. Either one's fine. Um, but she's gonna be using Dark. Yep, that's her job. And she hot. Oh oh oh. And she needs to be on Phoenix. Your hide unit, wh whoever you choose to use, has to be on Phoenix. So make sure your hide units on Phoenix for AoE re-raise. Or AoE raise. Now we're using 4-star Rico. This is the 4-star version, not the not the 7-star. Um, her gear is pretty irrelevant other than resistances. And we need some auto limit on her. Um, so she needs to be paralyzed immune, 40% to fire, lightning, and dark. Now Riku needs to be 100% dark resist. We put her on anima for the extra dark resist. She also needs 6 auto limit or better to get her LB guaranteed by the um, by every 4th turn. So 6 auto limit is fine. She, we gave her 6 with uh, Bomb Spirit and Ignorance. 
and I think she has one from the Chocobo armor. But, you know, just get her six auto limit from some source. And if you have one, give her a dark weapon. We need someone to deal dark damage per turn. We only need one person to deal dark damage per turn. But, you know, we had, we had nothing else to give her, so we gave her a dark weapon. We've also got dark from Bio Blaster on Vesvia. You know, just, we, we need a source of dark damage that is not from our actual DPS. All right, Blue Mage Fina is going to be our um, resistance buffer. She's a free unit from the story. Everyone in the game has her. Um, she needs to have paralyzed immunity, and she needs to have 100% to all the resistances. So 100% to fire, lightning, wind, and dark. It's got to be 100% or better. Other than that, we just gave her a little bit of mana regen with like Great Mage's Chant and Bouquet of Roses so she can use her skills more often. And that's it. And any free slots you have, give some Esper Fill gear. So we've got one Summer Parasol on the team. And I think we have two copies of Bonds with the Aeons, and that's it. That's just to fill the Esper Gates quickly, because we're going to need Phoenix every now and then. And lastly, we're going to be using Kenny Crow. Now, he also needs to have 100% to Fire, Lightning, Wind, and Dark Resist. I got 110%. I went a little bit overboard, but all you need is 100. Uh, he also needs to be Blind Immune, and preferably... I'm sorry, he needs to be Paralyzed Immune, and preferably Blind Immune. We gave him a Dark Weapon as well. Uh, this is the Black Magnum. This is a, this is also from a treasure chest in an exploration during the, the main storyline. It's a permanent item, so everyone should have this. Uh, but give him a Dark Weapon, give him full evasion, and 100% uh, to fire, lightning, wind, and dark. Now, it sounds hard to do, but as you see, we're using mostly accessible gear. Um, the Paralyzed Immunity comes from Assassin's Vest, the Blind Immunity from Zed's Mask, and then we get uh, mostly cheap cheap equipment for evasion. The only expensive one is Colorful Lay. If you don't have this, you could use um, Ring of the Loose Eye is fine. Ring of the Loose Eye is fine on this clear because we're not, we're not, we're, we are using Holy Element. So um, Rico's TMR, etc, etc. So that's going to be the team. Notice we're not using Mirage. This team does not need any Mirage whatsoever. So qu quick recap. The whole team has Paralyzed Immunity. If it matters for the unit, they have Blind Immunity. 40% uh, or better to Fire, Lightning, Wind, and Dark. Uh, Riku has also 100% Dark. And then Fina and Kenny Crow have 100% to all four resistances. Alright. Let's get in here and show how to deal with that turn 12 Dispel Mega Flare. This is going to be a slower clear. Uh, that's kind of, kind of like the, the whole point of this. If you don't have the good units, this is this is the slow the slow method. All right. So once it loads, eventually. Okay. So blue mage Fina is going to be our resistance unit. Uh, we're going to cast. Black and White Mage Veil. That applies 60% to every single resistance. That needs to always be up on the team. Alright, Kenny Crow is going to just punch every turn. Riku is going to punch. Vesvia is just going to Bio Blaster. You don't need to hit the boss with Dark with all the units. Just one per turn is fine, but we're using more because why not? And Freevia and Kadaj are going to start do doing their DPS. They're going to spend turn one setting up. Kadaj does his cooldowns, so does uh, Freevia. Now, one thing, one thing I forgot, forgot to mention during the setup is make sure you've got some items equipped that restore mana. Kadaj is going to eventually have some mana problems for this long of a fight. So we'll just drop like an elixir, an ether, a chocolate, etc. as needed for mana regen. Okay. Uh, now, Blue Fina is going to every now and then use Magic Mind Blast. That's one of her blue magics she got from the story. It's not required if you didn't get that far in the story yet, but it does break the boss's spirit, which will make um, Free Evia do more damage. Those three can repeat. Kadaj is now going to do the rest of his cooldowns. Free Evia is going to triple. Um, now, we're going to triple Brilliance twice, and we're going to go ahead and use Radiance. Radiance is going to break the chain. But this is more of a setup turn anyway, and that'll apply a 120 in peril for next turn. Yeah, you see, it breaks the chain. Yeah, that, that, that turn did 1% damage. That was a setup turn. Our next two turns are going to be the real damage. 
Yeah, these two units, Freyavia and Kadaj, are on like a four-turn repeating rotation, and it lines up really well with uh, the Mega Flares. And you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean in a moment. All right, so now we're going to triple Brilliance with Freyavia. And Kadaj will triple Thunderous Crash. We're going to do our real damage. We should do something like 5 five to 8% per turn of real damage. 9%, ah, 8%, that's fine. Okay, so these can just repeat. And Fina will just go ahead and do a little bit of Mana Regen to try to keep Kadaj's MP up. Because Kadaj is currently working off a of mana deficit. I think I never stat potted my Kadaj's mana. So if you if you're if you're having problems here, yeah, I never potted his mana. Uh, if you pot his mana, you won't have nearly as many problems. I actually I actually did, did a test run of this earlier, so so I, I know he's gonna have mana problems at some point during the fight. Anyway, uh, every third turn is a dispel. At the end of this turn, you're gonna see hollow. Hollow is like this little crystal ball looking thing right there. That that dispels your team. Anytime you get dispelled. You have to reapply resistance buffs with, with Fina. So make sure after every single hollow, Fina dual cast her veils. Uh, black veil and white veil. It's got to always happen. Our DPS can just reload and we're going to go ahead and chain. Okay, this is turn four. Mega flares are every fourth turn. So turn four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, depending on how long you go, you're going to keep getting the Mega Flare every fourth turn. On Mega Flares, you need to use Riku's Limit Burst. Make sure you do this first before you hide. Then Vesvia is going to uh, gonna hide. Uh, whatever unit you're using, make them hide. I want to be a Nutkin is a good choice. Or is, is what, she, what she uses, I'm sorry. And then Kenny Crow punches with Dark Element. Okay, so we're going to be... Um, Mega flared here, which is going to kill everyone, but we're going to re-raise. Technically, Vesvia did not need to hide from this specific Mega Flare, but just, just to keep it simple, we're going to hide every Mega Flare with Vesvia. Okay, so we died, we re-raised. Of course, that's going to, that's going to, that's going to make you take a, a really big point, point loss on damage taken and deaths, but we're still going to get a lot of points for beating the boss at all. So everyone died. So we lost all our buffs. So Fina is going to double. We're going to put up resistance. Always do that. We're going to go back to punching with Kenny and Riku. Vesvia is going to start casting Bio Blaster again. And we're going to set up the DPS again. So these two DPS specifically are kind of nice because Freevia and Kadaj are on a four turn repeating rotation. And it, it lines up perfectly with the Mega Flares. So after they die, their rotation was over anyway and they'd have to rebuff in the first place. So they're not, they really don't lose almost anything from these deaths. Now, of course, if you don't have Kadaj, you skipped him, if you don't have free you had to partner with him, using someone else that really does, you know, suffer from deaths. It, it might be a slower clear, but like I said, this clear can go, can go forever. So, you know, it's not going to matter. Okay, so Fina will just go ahead and mind blast the boss to break his spirit again. We're getting ready for our big burst turn coming up. Freavia will Brilliance, Brilliance, and do a Radiance for the bigger Imperil. Kadaj will do his setup stuff. That's going to break the chain at the end, but that's okay. The next, the next two turns are the real damage. We'll go ahead and hit, hit the boss with Dark. Okay, this is turn six. We're going to get Dispelled here. After this Dispel, we need to rebuff. And this is the reason I gave Aurora Freavia a, a one-handed Holy Weapon. I don't think there are any two anti-holy weapons. But yeah, this is the reason we gave her a holy weapon. Okay, hollow. Dispel time. Okay. Alright, Fina is going to rebuff because we got dispelled. Black and white element veil. That also applies um, attack and magic buff because we got those dispelled. So it's kind of nice that it slightly rebuffs our stats. All right, so we're going to triple and do our DPS. Okay. All right, so Riku will start tossing out some some ethers. We're gonna turbo ether our Kadaj. All right, next is gonna be the um, the Mega Flare. 
I'm sorry, no. Uh, yeah, next turn, next turn. It, it would not be on this turn. Alright, turn one. Alright, Mega Flare turns. Turn eight, so uh, Riku will Hyper Mighty G. We'll go ahead and just do our damage with our, our DPS. Alright, Blue Mage Fina will just refresh that Mind Blast just to keep it up. Uh, Vezia's gonna hide. I wanna be a Nutkin. And Kenny Crow will just punch for the Dark Element. And again, we're going to get a Mega Flare. It's going to kill people. We're going to come back from Re-Raise. And Mega Flare. Goodbye, everyone. Okay. Alright, so... Um... After Mega Flare, we need to rebuff everything, so we will black and white element veil. Vesby is going to go back to hitting with Bio Blaster. Kenny's going to punch. Uh, Freevia will do her setup. Kadaj will do his setup. And Riku will just drop another Turbo Ether on Kadaj to help, help his mana problems. Uh, it's turn 9, we're getting dispelled again, so Fina will rebuff uh, resistances after the split the spell. Hollow at the end of the turn. Hollow, there it is. Alright, so Fina will rebuff the elemental resistance veils. We'll just punch with Riku and Kenny. Vesvia can Bio Blaster. Uh, Kadaj will Quake Spinning Enveloping. Freevia will Brilliance, Brilliance, and Furious. Furious. Okay. Our dangerous Mega Flare is coming soon. But not yet. Alright, we'll use Fina to Mind Blast to break Spirit. Freevia will Brilliance three times. Kadaj will Thunderous Crash three times. Alright, um... Just punch all these, doesn't matter. And the dangerous Mega Flare is coming. Now, depending on when you push the 60% threshold, if you're using higher DPS than Kadaj at Freevia, um, the second Mega Flare might have killed your team completely as well. But when, whenever your team completely dies and stays dead, this is how you handle it. But anyway, um, even though re-raise technically will not help this Mega Flare, we're going to do it because we're going we're, we're gonna to stay in the pattern. So let's go ahead and chain with our DPS before we do anything else. Get some, get some burst in. Alright, Vesvia is going to hide. I want to be a Nutkin. Uh, Candy Crow is going to punch. And Fina will just spend a moment giving some mana to uh, Kadaj because we're going to die anyway. All right. You know, I forgot Blue Mage Fina's LB uh, refills mana too. I should have been using that. Oh well. All right. Here's the dispel. There goes the re-raise. Here's the Mega Flare. Everyone's dead. We all stay dead. But Vesvia was hiding. This is why we put Vesvia on Phoenix. Now we're gonna re-raise. We're gonna raise with Phoenix. This is going to raise the whole team. They're going to die again, but Kenny Crow, Fina are um, are immune with 100% resist. Well, Vesvia survives because she's a boss. 
<laughs> okay, so when everyone's dead, this is how we handle it. We're going to use Blue Fina to reverse hearts to raise. Then we're going to use White Element Veil. This is the fire, lightning, and light resistance. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Back at everyone back up and gives them the resistance. Now, the boss has a 50-50 chance to use a physical dark AoE this turn. If he does, it'll kill people a second time. If he doesn't, we're going to be okay. So we're going to punch here. If you could fit it, you know, I should have put... Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to keep things real simple. Forget that. So, if the boss does a physical dark AoE, it's going to kill everyone again. But because Riku also has 100 dark resist, um, she'll be okay. Alright, so he did the thunder AoE, so we actually didn't lose anyone else, which is fine. Okay, now Fina can put up the other resistance. Black and white element veil. We can just punch with Riku. Uh, Vesvia can just bio blaster. Now, I don't want to start our DPS rotation with these two until the next... Um, until the next Mega Flare, because the next Mega Flare is going to going to kill them, and we they're on a four turn rotation, so we want to wait till that death is over with, and get it out the way before we start again with um, our DPS. There's the dispel. All right, it's turn sixteen. Turn sixteen is a multiple four. This is a Mega Flare turn, so we need to Hyper Mighty G. We got dispelled as well, so we also need resistance so we survive until the Mega Flare. Candy's gonna punch. Vesvia, after she gets those resistance buff, wait till, she, wait till she gets them. Is gonna hide. And again, we're not um We're not we're not doing real DPS yet. Okay, so now we're gonna get the Mega Flare. Now, depending on when you push the boss, it could even be a double Mega Flare because of a threshold, uh, the 60% threshold. If it is a double Mega Flare and it kills the entire team twice, you would handle it the exact same way we handled the previous Mega Flare with um, Phoenix and all that. But this, this was not a double Mega Flare, so we're fine. So, everyone died. We're going to go ahead and black and white element fail. Uh, Riku... And Kenny will just punch. Vesvia can start just bio blaster in every turn. And then we're gonna go ahead and back and go and in, go into our DPS rotation. Kadaj will do his setup. Free Happy will do their setup. So the next um, dispel Mega Flare is gonna be turn 24. That it's gonna overlap every 12 turns. So turns 12, 24, 36, 48, depending on depending on how long this takes you. That's gonna be a double. Or a Dispel plus Mega Flare. And you saw how we handled it on turn 12. You would handle it the exact same way with uh, Vesvia. Alright. Uh, let's see. We'll Mind Blast for the Spirit Break. Kadaj will break defense and do power-ups. Freevia will triple uh, Brilliance, Brilliance, and Radiance. And punch. So it's turn 18. We're going to get dispelled here. But we're using elemental weapons, so the dispel doesn't really matter. But we do have to, re we do have to rebuff the resistances with the veils. There's the dispel. Alright, Blue Mage Fina. We're going to black and white element fail. Uh, it's turn 19. This is not a multiple of four, so we're not getting a Mega Flare. Go ahead and Brilliance. Thunderous Crash. Oh, and then Vesvia. So this, this is taking longer than I kind of expected. I should have brought better DPS than Kadaj and Freevia. Uh, but yeah, if you've got better DPS, by all means, bring them. For example, Ace, Rem, uh, Odin, Reagan, Noel, etc. 
And there's way better options than these. But I, I, I guess uh, for, for, you know, even like really new players, this should be mostly doable. Except for the resist gear, potentially. Uh, it's turn 20. Turn 20. Turn 20 is a Mega Flare turn. So we're going to re-raise. Fina will... I don't know if we got turn 20. No, we did not get dispelled. Fina will do her LB just to boost up... Um, uh, mana regen on Kadage. Vezia will hide. I want to be a Nutkin. I should have chained before using Fina. That was a mistake. Because now, now, now Kadage is going to use more mana. Alright, Candy Crow is going to punch. And then Mega Flare. We all come back. And we continue like nothing happened. Blue Fina is going to double resistance. Both the Veils. These two will just punch. Vesvia can just Bio Blaster. Freavia do Latent and Cooldown. Kadaj do uh, Reunion and Link. Okay, we're gonna get the spell again. Turn twenty-one, multiple of three. Uh, the next mega flare is gonna be the the dangerous mega flare, the dispel plus um, plus mega flare. It's because the dispel is every three turns and the mega flare is every four turns. So um, every twelve turns, those two overlap, which is why it's turn 12, 30, 12, uh, 24, 36. All right, so we're getting we got dispelled here, so let's go ahead and rebuff Elemental Veils with Fina. Uh, let's see. Brilliance, Brilliance, Radiance. Kadaj does his cooldowns. Alright. Big Mega Flare coming up. But not yet. On turn 24. We've got time. Uh, let's go ahead and Mind Blast for the Spirit Break. Thunderous Crash for Kadaj. Brilliance for... Free of you. All right. Next turn is Mega Flare, but not 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 this turn. It's a little boring. I probably should have probably should uh, sped up this video or something, but oh well. All right. Technically, re-raise doesn't matter for this Mega Flare, but we're gonna do it anyway because we're gonna we're gonna keep our rotation going. Uh, Fina, I'm gonna go ahead and do our, do our chaining first. All right, Fina's LB is not ready, so we can't do that good mana regen. We'll just do mana regen the normal way. Punch with Kenny, and Vesvia is gonna be a nutkin. All right, here comes Dispel plus Mega Flare. Hello, and Mega Flare. Goodbye, everyone. All right, Vesvia, let's go ahead and Phoenix them back up. And because Kenny Crow and Blue Fina have 100% to all the resistances, they're going to survive without needing um, any buffs. The rest of the team is dead. Goodbye. Vezia might live because of the resistances. Nope. Goodbye, Vezia. <laughs> Alright, 
Fina. Let's go ahead and raise. First. Make sure you always raise before doing the white element veil on these turns. Because we, we need the whole team to be buffed to resistance. Alright. And if the boss does the AoE dark attack, it's going to kill people. He's doing the lightning this time, which we got lucky, we got lucky with. Alright, so like before, we're going to wait till the next Mega Flare to get our DPS in their rotation again. We're not going to waste time. Um, we're not going to waste time powering up and stuff. Okay, so we're going to refresh both the elements here. Elemental Veils. Yeah, because their rotation is a four-turn setup, and if we get interrupted during the four-turn setup, uh, it would be terrible damage. So the next Mega Flare is on turn 28. We'll start DPSing again on that. The next um, the next dis Dispel Mega Flare is on turn 36. But based on this rate, we're going to win before turn 36. There's the Dispel again. Make, 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 sure you, make sure you never miss those Dispels. That'd be real bad. All right, it's turn 28. Turn 28 is a multiple four. This is a Mega Flare turn. Let's rebuff the resistances. Let's re-raise with Riku. Let's turn to a Nutkin with uh, Vesvia. Hit the boss with Dark with Kenny, and we just guard these two. Kadaj is back at full mana. That's what I like to see. Alright, so we're going to get uh, the Mega Flare. We're going to die here. Come back, re-raise, and now we can start our DPS rotation again. Alright, Fina. Resistances. Free Evia. Uh, Gift of Daylight, Radiant Might. Kataj. Genova and Reunion. These two can punch. Bioblaster. I mean, Bioblaster is pretty irrelevant. We've already got Dark Weapon on Riku and Kada and uh, Kenny Crow, but you know, whatever. All right, so it's turn twenty-nine. Uh, nothing happens this turn. It'll be a dispel next turn. All right, we're going to brilliance, brilliance, radiance for the better in peril. Kadaj, break, power, power. Fina, uh, Mind Blast for the Spirit Break. Do that. Reload these. Punch, punch. Bio Blaster, hit it with Dark. Alright, turn 30. We're getting dispelled here. Next Mega Flare is on turn 32. Nice, easy, repeating rotation. We're just doing it super budget, taking super long time. But we're going to get those 200k points. We're going to get them. There's the Dispel. Love seeing those Dispels. Alright. Turn 21. Or 31. Black and White Element Veil. Free of ya. We will triple. 1, 2, 3. Kadaj. We will. 1, 2, 3. Um, turn 31. We're not getting a Mega Flare this turn, so we'll just do our damage. Okay. All right, so we might push him below 10%, which is going to be a threshold Mega Flare. Which is fine, but it might actually kill our team twice. But it's not really a big deal. Yep, 10%. Alright, so Fina, we'll just go ahead and... Um, we have resistance, right? We do. 2LB for the regen. Uh, we're going to re-raise with Riku. Vesvia is going to be a nutkin. Wait for all the buffs to finish before you do that, though. Alright. And punch with Kenny. All right. So I'm not entirely sure if the second Mega Flare will kill us or if it'll happen during the re-raise animation. We're about to find out though. It's fine either way. If it does double kill, we'll just handle it the same way we handle the Dispel Mega Flare turns. 
First Mega Flare. Oh, we just did one? Okay, well, that's whatever. Okay, so in that case, we just can we just continue as normal. Yeah, so if, if for some reason he had double Mega Flared and killed everyone, we would have treated that as a Dispel Mega Flare turn. We would have Phoenixed, etc., etc. Uh, so we're setting up the DPS again. We're going to black and white Element Veil with Fina. We're going to punch these two. We'll just keep hitting them with Dark Element. Uh, turn 36 coming up is going to be a Dispel Mega Flare turn. I'm pretty sure we're going to win before that happens, but uh, you've seen before how we handled the Dispel Mega Flares. You would handle it the same way. Alright, so we got Hollow, we got Dispelled, so we need White and Black Element Veil. Uh, we're still setting up our DPS, so we're going to Flash, Flash, Radiance. Gaia spinning, enveloping. Go ahead and do that. Reload these. We'll just use Fina to break spirit, so Fergavia does a tiny bit more damage. Thunderous Crash. Uh, brilliance. Uh, it's turn 35. There's nothing going on this turn. Tuh, <laughs> 1%. Okay. Well, whatever. Hit him with dark. Okay. So, uh... We'll kill him next turn, obviously, but if we didn't, again, it's just it, turn 36 is a Dispel Mega Flare, so you would do the same thing. You would hide Vesvia, Phoenix, raise and buff with Fina, and then um, get everyone back up. Alright, let's see our report card. What could our score do? We're going to get a zero score in deaths, a zero score in damage taken, but we're going to deal... I never thought about um, the chain score. I forgot all about that. I wouldn't sweat it. If you're, if you're struggling with the fight, don't stress yourself out. Don't don't stress about the chain score. Just just come in here and get that 200k for the first time clear. That's all that matters. Let's see how we did. I mean, 220,000 points for doing that. It took something like 20 minutes, maybe, I guess. I'm not sure how long it really took. Maybe it's longer. But, uh... We got a perfect score on effective attacks. Look at that. <laughs> okay, there you go. There is the super budget way to do... Hellflare of the Dark Dragon King. Hopefully that has been helpful to you guys. And you get your 200k points, plus a little bit of extra bonus, and improve your rank. I'm currently ranked 229. It is slowly falling every hour. Hopefully I stay in the top 500. Anyway, see you guys for the next trial or um, Dark Visions later.